hello guys in this video i'm showing you what you need to know in order to create a automatic trading robot before you even think of creating your own automatic robot you must know these things in this video watch this video until the end because you'll be surprised of what i'm saying and what i'm showing you as the video goes along so it's important that you watch this video to the end okay because there are a lot of important things that i will be showing you as we move along some even if you're a beginner or you're a professional i'll be showing you everything just be patient and watch this video until the end so this is what happens what i've realized is that a lot of people skip the basics and then after going straight to the advanced stage they get stuck and then it's no longer easy to deal with the basics so let's start the video here so if you want to uh, create your own automatic trouble the first thing that you must do you must know how to open the place where you are going to program the place where you are going to put your codes the tool that you need the first thing this is your mt5 it's open it's for trading and all those things but you can't code your auto trading robot on these charts there is an option that you need to go for if you want to create your own automatic trading robot okay so the first thing is this thing here it's written ide from one two three four it's written ide i don't know why what i stands for but i know that d stands for development and e stands for environment okay so you are going to press this thing as you move your mouth here you can see it's written meter codes language editor and then they are even saying you can go to that thing pressing f4 i won't be showing you how to press f4 you all know the f4 is on your keyboard at the top of your keyboard from escape f1 f2 f3 f4 that one i won't be showing you so you are going to click this thing immediately after clicking you can see this is meter editor remember this is the meter 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 codes editor this is where we write our codes this is where everything happens when you are coding your own trading robot okay so you are going to press on ide or you go to tools it starts from the left file view insert charts tools then on the tools you are going to skip all this and then press mql5 mql which stand for m stand for meter q codes l language so that's what we're saying mql5 i don't know what five stands for i can only tell you about mql5 okay so now or you can just press here you can see the first one is a strategy tester the second one is meta codes language editor okay this one of mql5 in fact it's a market where you buy your robots and all those things but you can just press the second option it will, it will bring you here so just by knowing this this shows you that you are ready to code your own auto trading robot and i'm telling you every mt5 on the computer got this option every any okay so as soon as you know how to open the meter code editor there are also other things which you must know and they are very important as much as they are okay so now my computer is loading you can see it's being slow so i'll close it and then open again open my mt5 again so that i can start the process after opening my mt5 uh, i'll show you how to work this magic out again then you i press here and then now since this thing is here my meter code is right here if you want to create your auto trading robot you must always press the create new document or create new project in fact you must create new project because now your, your robot is your project right not the document so now here 
if you want to code your own trading robot you're going to just select the first option press next here yeah, you need the name and the reason why you need the name is so that you can be able to differentiate your auto trading robot and here you can see there's something written expect the expert this one is the folder which means whatever robot that i'll be creating will be under this folder if i can change this expect to files whatever robot that i'll create will be under the files if i can change to images whatever robot that i will create will be under images okay so i want my expert advisor to be under expert it's fine like this you can leave it like this so i'll just write my robot as youtube to make things simple okay now we have a robot named youtube my your name here as an author actually this is for copyright you can put the uh, capital letters like mine ronald and then website you can write the new website it's fine if you want to add certain things you can add the inputs whatever you see so i'm deleting i don't want to add anything any it's not necessary to add anything so i press next yeah no need to do nothing next next and then finish okay as you can see now this thing is here as a project vision 101 icon i can pick the icon for my project which is the image and then now i can write the description of the project link and everything and everything okay so now let's um as you can see here it's the robot this is just for me to do visions and all those things to avoid a lot of things but here is the robot this one it's useless in fact you can close this one and then leave this one with the codes okay you can see my name ronald is written youtube the name of the robot website and everything you are going to write the codes on this one okay so what happens now when the robot loads on the charts yeah, this is what is the codes that will be written when the robot loads so when the robot goes to the chart whatever that you write here will appear immediately when the robot is activated so like for example you can code welcome here you can just say welcome or the robot is on any message that you want every time when the robot is activated whatever that is written here will be executed okay and then here on on the init this one is on init this one is on the init when the robot is deactivated on the charts whatever that you write here will be executed you can write the robot is closed bye bye okay so this function you don't touch them you just put things inside them don't change anything here don't change anything you just type whatever that you want here okay as programming but these things are not necessary. You can remove them. And then when your robot is placed on the chart, it won't say nothing. When the robot is deactivated, it won't say nothing. It's not a must. The only function that you need is this one. It's named ONTIC. And I'm sure we can all agree that ONTIC means every tick that the Forex market will take whatever that you write here will be executed the robot will read your rules here this is where you put the trading rules the market will always revisit your code to read what you are saying every time when the market moves in any second any tick whatever that changes whether the price is going down with one cent or going up everything that's when your robot will read everything the rules that you put here okay so now as you can see this is a project okay the whole project like you can put many actually this also allows you to put many things inside but this is not different from this one you can still press this one of saying uh, it says new document and then you can still go advisor let me just type this one fx youtube so that um, 
actually this is the simplest way fx youtube and then next next as we have seen the name i'm sure it's there yeah, it's ronald again here is it so we can forget about this this one is too big the big file the simplest one is this it comes alone and you can see we already have copyrights link it's done like that one so i'll say press this one or this one this one you use it when you are a professional now when you know a lot of things for now just use this simple template like this you can see you have everything written for you as i've said the only important function is on tick function the rest are useless so these ones of properties they are not involved in your forex it's just to define your forex and you can change them vision you can write another vision so this is just what you need to code your robot if i can compile and this compile you see this compile button this is the most important button that you will need you will always be pressing this thing always press this thing when you write any code because after pressing this compile that's when all these codes are made a robot Bef without pressing this these codes will be useless are not a robot but after pressing this that's when you will be making your robots so now let's check our robot it's written you fx youtube okay you come here remember let me close this so that i can show you everything by step by step so now you have compiled your robot here this your robot there are no errors if there's anything red here your compiled won't be updated which means it's useless you don't compile it's only compiled if it says zero zero warnings doesn't matter but errors red are not allowed warnings you can have as many as you want the robot will be updated but the errors the robot won't be good okay so now if you want to go back to the chart you press this thing you can see it's just candle sticks now after pressing it you will be taken back to the charts so now if you want your robot you must come to the view you need the um, navigation bar navigator okay navigator will bring this option on your left and then it, most of the time all everything will be closed like this so you must go to expect advisors you press it will extend and then everything will be closed and then you will see our robot is written fx youtube here's it drop it on the chart fine it's here you can see it's here every time when i write a code and then compile our robot here will be automatically be updated but if i write codes and just save without compiling the robot won't be updated whether you're changing a stop loss or take profit or anything okay so now you know where to check your robots your robot will appear here if you did everything right so now it comes the most important part that is called a um, strategy test i can see here you go to view you scroll down it's return strategy test and then this thing will appear at, at the bottom this thing is used to test the strategies of that this is actually is used to to test auto trading robots okay if you want to see if your robot is working if you you, you want to check if your robot is trading as you you want because this thing will take your robots and then try to trade with your robot from the previous data the previous market as you can see here you are going to select your robot here it's written expect you come here click here and then ours is fx youtube here clicked it it's here you can see and then you can choose a symbol mine is euro usd time frame what where do you want to test it entire history no just last month you can choose everything that you want you want your robot to trade with how much thirty thousand dollars leverage all those things and then when you are done you press the start just to check if your robot is working from last month you can see here's my robot no error no nothing you can see it's just showing me how it was gonna work now no open position it doesn't open position okay and it began here from last month okay that's how you test your robot 
and then i hope you got everything now that i've showed you these are the most important things that you need to know and then thank you give me a subscribe give me a like share with others so that they can stop buying expensive useless robots we are going to create our own robots here okay on this channel stay on this channel i'll be teaching a lot of things from now until forever thank you